Let's open it up. So we should be live now on my end. Technical issues. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you to Sogeg who's watching and realised that I wasn't actually streaming. So thank you. I I did also say it in the Roll20 chat. Uh, uh, As you were talking, I didn't yes, want uh, to I didn't. I interrupt. didn't spot that. Thank you. My bad. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> no excuse. Uh, yes, Scud's uh, emptied out the bag uh, until a green dragon plopped out. And that's exactly the moment where we left it. So, uh, to make this interesting, I'd like everybody to roll initiative for me. Okay. Scott's with the nat 20. Scott's with the nat 20. Uh, on the ball, uh, Scott's, you are the first in the order. You'd hope she was paying attention, shaking out a dragon. Right? <laughs> Clay can bad time to tune out. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. As she tries to pull it out from the neck, I guess. Um. So for my turn, I will. Sorry, Bennett. Go into a rage. Oh, okay. Oh no! Please don't be something. First of all, let's that hurts my friends. <laughs> okay. Really good. Uh, until your rage hey. ends, you are surrounded by multicolored protective lights. You get a bonus, uh, plus one bonus to your AC, while within ten feet of you, and your allies gain the same bonus. So everybody within ten feet of Scuds gets a plus one to their AC while she's raging. And because she's size large at this point, it's essentially an extra bit away. At this point, everybody should be protected by that. I'm very glad I put my armor back on before we started. But... <laughs> uh, Maybe needed. So, uh, what's my range on throwing shit? Real quick, I'm uh, just gonna gonna pull that up. Can I eat the dragon? Can you eat you, a dragon? You're Scotch. You can do anything you put your mind it to, is a including eating a dragon. Healthy and very confused and angry dragon. Patches of scales missing. Uh, areas where you can clearly see something's been sewn on and taken off. This dragon has been mistreated. Or at least uh, experimented on. Oh boy. You already know what's on the other um, side of that bag. Alright, I think I only have a 60 foot range on my throw, so am I able to drag the dragon with me into the range and throw it at the Kraken? Uh, so you would need to try and grapple it to pick it up. Uh, so that would be a uh, athletics contest. Okay. Um, so as she's pulled this out, then she's going to go into this... You would this, be uh... at advantage for this. Okay. Uh... You, should, you should be fine, because dragons aren't known for their athleticism. Oops, I closed. Uh, you'd be surprised. That, no, they genuinely aren't. That and roll 20 they... can just be spiteful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so glad that was whispered. Um, okay, let me re-roll that just to be nice. Uh, auto roll damage and crit. There we go. Uh, there we go. I can't find my character sheet. There we go. Okay. Uh, slightly less it's... horrifying. I said, I'm going to let you know now behind the scenes it got a natural 20. Why wouldn't it? It's not a player. Yeah, pretty much. First roll of the game. Oh, but then again, Scott's got nats one if yeah, you're true. Uh, thinking, so I'll hush my mouth. Uh, but I am going to say that uh, because of the the situation and the fact that Scott is considered uh, a size bigger than it and so on, it would have actually been at disadvantage. So therefore, the eight would go through. So uh, Scott, you currently have the uh, the dragon grappled. Um, what would you like to do? 
Uh, am I am I still able to move on my turn then? Yep. Uh, you you would be yes. Uh, okay. So um, I just wrap my arms around it in a big bear hug, clenching its wings like so it can't try to get away. It's probably pretty fucking dazed right now. I'd be real confused if I were the dragon too. Uh, and then I will stomp over in front of everyone over here, I guess. Okay. Um, and then I'm, I think I'm out of action, so we're good. You have one attack action left. So a grapple is a, a type oh, of I... attack action. So you can grapple and okay. attack, or attack then grapple, so then I can or throw it. a grapple twice, or whatever. All right, then, um, Guts is just gonna grab it, put it over her head, and tuck it real hard. Uh, okay. Uh, make an attack roll. Improvised weapon. Okay, 23. Uh, I'm gonna let it have a saving throw, I think. I'm gonna aim right for its okay. mouth. Okay, it really does not want to be also thrown. Dead. Oh my god, So, no. it's gonna get to about there before it manages to get a hold of its wings. And it's what? hovering. I brought you a beast of the land! I point at it excitedly. Okay. And that's my turn. Well, it's the Kraken's turn. Uh, so it is going to uh, drag these tentacles off and move them. And then it's going to try and grab the dragon out of the air. That's not what I wanted on the uh, Kraken. Uh, again, it's going to be um, athletics versus uh, athletics or acrobatics. Uh, holy shit, I have only just looked at this thing's character sheet. What the hell is a fucking Kraken? Oh, it's pure evil. What the hell? <laughs> it's utter evil. Uh, versus a uh, strength is still its highest. So even with a natural twenty, it wouldn't have been able to beat that. So yeah, uh, the kraken currently grapples and wraps up uh, the dragon. That will be its turn. Dias. Okay. Uh, one second. Do I need to move to there? And then I am going to use my bonus action to use the help action on the Kraken. Okay. <laughs> Tell me how you're helping the Kraken. I am just going to start chanting and slowly these tiny little lights start uh, little motes of sunlight just start to bounce all over the uh, the dragon. Just so it can see it a little better before it eats it. Okay. Um, so it gets advantage on its next attack against the uh, the dragon. Is it just attacks, or is it its next uh, basically ability thing? So say if it's pretty much anything uh, that anything that would make a roll. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use that essentially to force disadvantage on the dragon trying to escape. Or advantage against the... Uh, trying to keep a hold of it, so I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, your choice your how you play it, but either way, I'm same sort of thing. Same sort of thing. I'm using my epithet. So it is going to attempt to I break out. I still have my action as well. Oh, sorry, yes, you still have your action. Yeah. Uh, that was a bonus action. It certainly was. Um, I'm going to... I'm just going to defend myself. I'm just going to take a, a hunk it down behind my shield. And if anything attacks me, it has disadvantage. Okay. Just going to take yeah. The guard action. The, the, the dodge action, guard action, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is going to. Check. Nope. It is very much restrained by the tentacle. Dulk. Dulk is very confused at what's going on. What is going on? 
too much. Why is that different from any other day? Fair point. Um, yeah, it's never stopped you before. Does this work the way I want it? How do I help a kraken eat a dragon? How, this is a very confusing. How do you thing. help a kraken eat a dragon? At this point, I don't think you need to. It has hold of it. It's going to die. We just watch at this point. At There's point. also the 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 king and his child trying to escape. Uh, the guards that have been captured by the kraken that you might be able to help. Um, or you could just, you know, sit and ring your bell and try and attract a second Kraken for fun. Wait, what? <laughs> so, has the hoplite that we're trying to protect been captured or no? Which hoplite are you trying to protect? The, the, the spy. Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure whether you're protecting them or trying to reveal them, to be perfectly honest. Uh, uh, that one is this one here. Okay. Um, that one. That is the one that uh, flagged up as a fiend, and it was the one that helped you into the uh, uh, the city. It's the one in front of Dios? The one in front of Dios. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, the king can suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> a I, valid uh, opinion to hold? I... Oh, going back and just remembering because I messed up the audio on uh, last week's one uh, and remembering how much the entire party seethed at, at just dealing with terror loss made me happy. <laughs> the kid, uh, not quite as much disdain as the king, but... More just your, your general uh, disdain towards children in general. Yeah. Sort of, uh, I just don't, don't want to deal with this. Whereas I gave it a bag of sand. I gave it a bag of sand that I didn't know what the sand was, so that can only go well. Um, I'm just going to um, play a little noise on my death whistle and give Scott's, advanti uh, uh, give Scott's uh, inspiration. Okay, Scott, you've got a point of bardic inspiration. That's a bonus that, action, that's... so you've got an action Walk today. Me. Does anyone need healing? You could just use your action to drive your new scooter. <laughs> Go wee. You know what? I'll start doing donuts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> donuts on the pitch. In that radius. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Because that's a lot of donuts if you're just spinning it uh, in a 20 foot cube uh, or the 5 foot each one. Because uh, you can go, I believe, 120 feet. Per turn on that thing. <laughs> it's a ten foot radius for the bridge, by the looks of it. There you go. <laughs> uh, okay, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I'm. Sp I'm just spinning. That's fantastic, <laughs> Bennett. What do like to do right. I um, if I'm going to use sleight of hand, is that a bonus action or is that my main action? It depends on what you're trying to do. I'm trying to slip something into someone's pocket. Uh, normally that would be an action, but you might have a way to make it a bonus action being either a rogue or one of your epithets. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it needs to be the thief. Is it specifically like thief for using yeah. items as a bonus action? Yeah. I think uh, so. Then it would be an action to do so. Right, because I can't get close enough to this hop light to do what I want to do then. I mean, you can dash as your bonus action and then use your main yes, action. Yes, I can. I thought dash was my main action. So in that case then, yeah, I'm going to dash to there because that's 40 feet. And then I want to slip a piece of paper into the pocket of the hop light. Uh, make a... Are you doing it without them knowing? Yes. Okay, slide to hand. 
Watch the spear, Nat one. Three against their passive perception. Okay. Uh, well, Diaz didn't notice, so you uh, slip uh, a piece of paper into the the belt of this uh, hoplite. Uh, but in and amongst the chaos, no one's noticed. Cool. But just to add to the mystery, I'm I'm pointing as well, saying, "Look at the fucking." What's that over there? I swear there's a kraken behind here. You. you need to look. There's a kraken. Is it a bird? Behind Is it a flying man? No, no, it's a fucking kraken. Right, that's everything I'm doing. Okay, so you just stay in there. No other movement. I'll stay there. Yeah, I've got a plus one AC where oh, I'm yeah, stuck. So I'll, yeah. I will uh, try and take advantage of that. Okay, Nadrin. Hey. Would I know if the Kraken can understand any languages? Uh, let me have a look. Uh, I think I would say uh, make either a nature or history check at advantage because of your uh, devotee to Thassa. That it's just something you would naturally know. Both are Terrible. Let's go with nature. Uh, not too bad. It's pretty solid. Uh, with that, yeah. Um, they can't speak, uh, but they understand abyssal, celestial, infernal, and primordial, uh, and they do have uh, a telepathic aura that they can use. Well, I speak two of those languages. Uh, so, in primordial, mm -hmm. um, I will shout to the kraken. Um, Vasa told me I should bring you a beast of the sea. Here is one. Is this enough for you? Uh, go ahead and make a either persuasion or performance. A one plus seven. Okay, so as you boom out your declaration of tribute to both this Kraken and the god of the sea uh it bellows in return uh very much the sort of bellow of acknowledgement okay this thing's not very expressive so you can't really tell you know it's not like smiling and winking and nodding but um it definitely heard what you said and responded to it I hope that's a good bellow. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'll say that was your action to do all of that, well. Okay. Um. Don't really know what else to do. Uh, I'll just move forward a bit. Am I in range of Scots's thingy? Yes, you would be. Okay, I'll bring Neil. I'll leave Neil back there, actually. And I'll Is just gonna stay. Is he going to stop on the floor to try and stop socks wheelies? <laughs> <laughs> um, that old I wasn't intending back. to do that, yeah, I'll but sure. Into, <laughs> just turn it into a drift pad. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time Zolk starts doing something, Neil's just drooling next to him to try and mess him up. Stop doing donuts and starts doing drift instead. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that will be so my turn. Be okay, fantastic. So it is the captain of the guard. Uh, and also the uh, the king and his son at the same time as they rush past you uh, 
desperately trying to get the king. Uh, uh, any wait, wait, wait. out? Oh, oh, real quick, yeah. they're moving past me. Can I take an opportunity of attack to try to throw the king to the kraken? Uh... <laughs> Please. I really hate that guy. I'll allow it. <laughs> Go ahead I, I will... and uh, it, you wouldn't be able to grab him and throw him, but you'd be no, able no, to just, just scooping grab him, up. him, grabbing yeah. him by the scruff. Let's what uh, an athletics. So it'll be athletics at advantage, and his will be at disadvantage. Oh god, okay. Uh, you know what? It'd be <laughs> easy just to do this. Uh, he needs a natural twenty. Almost. Not enough. There you go. Uh, <laughs> but as you just you, hear I mean, Scott start laughing maniacally. Yeah. He, the, the captain's very much sort of trying to get the prince out, but he does turn uh, to the hoplites to, to sort of yell, Stand your ground! Don't let this thing get to us! As the hoplites turn and try and brace their shields against the kraken, but they aren't staying for long. A lot of them break and just sprint off. Uh, the only ones remaining are the ones that were captured by the Kraken, the one that uh, let you into the city, and another one that uh, is very much confused going to try and stab out at the this tentacle here. But the damage not seeming to stick. Okay. Start of the order. Scuds, you have a screaming king in your hand. You and what? what do you think you're doing, demi human? Put me down this instant! We need to get out of here before that monster further disrespects me. You think you know what monsters are? See, she cackles as she opens up her shirt. I changed my mind. We're not throwing him. Oh my god. I had enough time yes. to think. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she begins oh, to no. shoot him. And oh, no. he's such a jerk. Okay. He's going to Granny. Yes! Oh, would no. be too kind an end. Okay. Oh, no. uh, I need you to make an athletics check for me. Uh, it, this All one is day. not an advantage. It's just an right. athletics check. And then I need to do some maths. Inspiration. Oh, no. So, uh, right. it is considered an ability check, so you can use your inspiration on this. I will. So it's an additional d6. Um, do, do, do. Ah. Okay, a 19. Okay. Uh, oh, no. So... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. I'm so happy. <laughs> Man, I hate this guy. Okay. Um, 14. Okay. Uh, so you grab him by the scruff of the neck uh, and uh, intimidate. And tell him about the, the secrets of true monsterhood and stuff him down the shirt with very little resistance. <laughs> I need to mark that you have King uh, Terralos in your shirt. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> uh, too, I, Granny. You, you may have actually saved his life during this. Um, uh, but is it a better life? Yeah, he's not. Yeah. He may not die immediately. But well, that's whether what I or not he's, this, yeah, he prolonged his life, prolonged but it's better. <laughs> Yeah, so it's King Terralos. Uh, <laughs> just in your bag, you just happen to have a king of an entire polis. Oh no. no why me? Oh no. Uh, We're going to have people hunting us across the, all of Theros for this guy now. You know that, right? Uh, Scott is going to turn around and just shout... Oh my god, did you guys see the king fall in the water? Oh no! 
Okay, make a deception check. <laughs> uh, assist the deception. Uh, how? Tell me how you're going to do so. Just agree with her and point. Yeah. Maybe kick He's a few stones him. into the the water to make a splash. <laughs> like that. Okay. Uh, it would be an advantage, so roll again just in case you get higher. Okay. Because uh... you're being helped. Oh, fuck, wait. Not intimidation. Okay. Uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, in the chaos, not only have most of the hoplites already run the fuck away, uh, the few remaining uh, either don't seem to care all that much about the fate of the king or are so freaked out that they're more worried about themselves falling into the water than the king falling into the water. And they're very much not looking at you, considering they're trying to deal with an entire fucking kraken. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I really want to put the kraken in my shirt, but I think that one's the bad idea. So I opted for the king. You would need to get a significantly bigger than it to do so, or at least enough equal size. It's a it's a big boy. Even with a large, we couldn't make it. Oh. Uh, you Quest for need Scots to, to get try huger. Get, so you can already get to size huge if you are um, enlarged and then go, go into rage and get to size huge. Uh, but you probably want to get to gargantuan before you try stealing krakens. New goal unlocked. There you go. You just need somebody gargantuan else that can Scots. also use uh, enlarged reduce at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to stack in large reduces. Just keep going. Okay. How Is big it available can we get to board? You'll have to find out when you level up. If you level up. Okay. Uh, so, um, Okay. Well, my turn's done. I'm yeah. good. Uh, you've still got um, act, uh, oh, another attack to do. Oh, no, you don't, because that's not an attack action. It's a different action. Uh, you've got a bonus action to move if you want to. Uh, she's just going to move down well, to get a closer also, look at the Kraken, because um, he's neat. Bennett, I'm going to say yes oh, with no, an asterisk no, on it. And you'll see the asterisk what? hopefully later. Because that's more of a... It should still be possible. But it might be more complicated than it once was. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we'll move on to the Kraken's turn. Who is very much just going to drag uh, the dragon to its gullet and swallow it down. Uh, that was... Uh, as it is chewing, it is going to pull uh, what tentacles it has left under the water. Seems to be not so much pulling back, but more relaxing a little bit as it's chewing on this regenerating dragon. Dios. Uh, not a lot I can do here, to be quite honest. Uh, so I'll just Stand my ground and take the guard action again. Okay, okay. Uh, Zolk. Oh, no. You've got the capsule of the guard and the kid right next to you if you, there's anything particularly evil you want to do. Uh, otherwise, well, donuts. See, if Scuts failed on the um, the opportunity attack, I was going to ram the king. <laughs> <laughs> So it is what it is. I'd say reasonable, but no, it really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> For this party, it is. Yeah, it's not. No, it's not unexpected, but it's definitely not reasonable. I disagree. I think it's very reasonable for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing donuts. You're doing donuts, Bennett. He has to deal with the spittle. Um. um oh, it is just... Neil actually drool? Yeah. Okay, Neil then so we need um, a dexterity saving throw from uh, the um, nightmare vehicle. Well, on the bright side. 
Oh no, that's for you, not your nightmare vehicle. Oh wait! Oh, I need to open that. Yeah. Oh no! Because you're because <laughs> you're currently driving that. You're not the one doing donuts. Where your is vehicle it? is. Down here somewhere. There it is. Oh, this won't go well. Oh wait, hang on. No, my. Do I just roll dex? Uh, yeah. Unless it's got a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, roll dex. Uh, nope. Okay, it's fine. You you hang on <laughs> tight, spin it around, do a few extra drifts on top, add a few extra straight lines to the the circles you're uh, drawing in the ground. Oh yeah, with the spittle I am now drawing. <laughs> well, it's glow in the dark spittle, so. Uh, Nadrin. <laughs> Bennett, actually. Bennett now. Oh, sorry, is it back on Bennett? Sorry, I. Let me, yeah. So, Bennett, sorry about that. Do we have a Bennett still? Almost. The yeah, I'm holding an action. Okay, yeah, you can just so if it if it tries to attack or come close, then I will defend myself. Okay, wise. Okay, that's right. I really don't know what to do here. Like the kraken seems. It's currently chewing away on a dragon that is fighting back. Losing, but definitely trying to fight back. I really don't know what to do here. Like, I've said my piece. I hope you've not got uh, an encore for your piece. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um... That's fair. I was just really hoping it would actually eat the dragon, and it's it's eating doing that. the dragon. So yeah. enjoy your food. Please leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the hoplites are going to continue running, trying to protect the prince. Uh, that's one. This one, the only one that seems to remain. Uh, although he's going to retreat, trying to keep up with the others, but lagging behind is the one that uh, uh, that let you into the city. Scuds, anything else? Or the crack and choose its food? I'm going to in primordial shout out and ask it if it liked the snacks and if it knows where um my ocean auntie is uh it's got its mouth full at the moment but we'll see what happens on its turn she'll wave at it and i'm just gonna end my turn which it actually is the Kraken's next turn because it's changed the order a little bit. But Unless there's anything you want to do before the Kraken does whatever it's doing, Diaz? No, I'm just going to keep a wary eye on things. Yeah. And I'll get involved if I have if to. But... Needed. Um, yeah. But the, the Kraken finally manages to swallow the, the green dragon uh, and with a satisfied roar uh, it plunges back into, well, beneath the waves, uh, as you see the ripple of the wave sort of following it as it pushes through the water and further back into the depths. Uh, and we'll end the turn order there, as the, the Kraken seems to have left. Not for that. Uh, and while I haven't properly written them up yet, uh, Nadrin, you have passed your ordeal. Yes! 
as uh, you did indeed help capture a great beast of the land and brought it to the shore as an offering for a kraken. So for next week, I will have uh, Blessed of the Deep and Abyssal Summoning for you. Yay, I did it! <laughs> for once, I helped somebody else's thing instead of just... stuff. I pulled something out of my shirt instead of stuffing it in. <laughs> Oh, well, why? Why would you, you say you, that? You stuffed in your shirt what I had to kill to do my ordeal. So, oh gosh! Oh that's, no! That's, <laughs> that's ah. twice that what I've had to kill for something has gone in the shirt. <laughs> well, let's go back to Granny's. Go stab him I'll in the cage. Hold, <laughs> I'll hold Bennett in by a leg and dip him, dip him down. Hold him by the ankle. They're the full Achilles. Sorry, Bennett. Fuck. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? I mean, at the very least now, you know where the king is um, to try and work out why he wasn't dying. Or nobody in Neil Lantern was dying. I've got that down. So, from here, what would you like to do? Uh, most of the guards have run away, uh, or at least retreated to uh, more defensible positions. Uh, the captain of the guard is escorting the uh, the prince. The king is now somewhere on the other side of the world. Um the only guard that you can see sort of that has sort of lingered is the one that uh, that let you into the city um, but he's still very much putting up the act of being on guard duty a bit half-hearted at this point That's will turn towards oh, yeah. her with well, them no and wave. There. You turn and wave, uh, and she gives uh, a nod back uh, and turns and uh, goes into uh, a small home. And sort of to walk straight through the door, uh, disappears out of sight. Unless, yeah. You go chase him down. Just waiting for a signal that might come. <laughs> yeah, heck it, Scott will follow. <laughs> so, are you going into the uh uh, the home that you walked into. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anybody going with Scuds? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ben, I better go Ooh. with it. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. So everyone's it together. Uh, as you head on in, uh, the the female guard has sat down at a a table. This place seems to be quite barren. Uh, a, very much a home someone once lived in. Uh, but you get the feeling that it was quite swiftly abandoned, or at the very least, quickly left. Uh, you get the feeling that they probably only left within the past few hours, probably because uh, within sight of the window, a fucking kraken showed up. Uh, you walk into some stranger's house following a guard that also goes into a stranger's house that sits down uh, at a small table takes off a helmet uh, does seem to be uh, an elf of some kind with uh, brilliantly bright purple hair uh, 
And she looks and gives a smile of... You have found me out a little sooner than you were supposed to. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Oh, I can never stay mad at you. As the uh, the elf transforms... Move. Wait... into a her skin seems, seems to go a more mottled uh, lilac the sclera the, the whites of the eyes going black thick horns pacing through her forehead and a long whip like tail very clearly a fiend a full demon um, but yet yeah, one that seems very calm collected uh inviting almost not as horrifying as you would imagine a creature like this to actually be uh so this is like the closest thing i have to a big sister uh this is Diaz. This is Nadrin. This is Zulk. Oh, this is Neil. Look at how good he can drool. Uh, oh, God, I forgot his name. I don't remember where he is. And there's Bennett over there. Bennett's the coolest. She leans in and whispers. Uh, don't worry, darling. I know everybody here. I've been watching for a while. Although... <sighs> I was against getting too directly involved, but uh, after Granny spoke to you all, she knew a more direct hand was needed. So she stands out of the chair uh, and gives you sort of a, a gentle curtsy. My name is Aura. Just a uh, an old friend of our darling Scots here. Been, he used say. to bring me actual food at Granny's. <laughs> I've been keeping an eye on you. And would like to continue doing so in future. But I fear that you've kind of fallen off course. Uh, I didn't realise... Uh, how eager you would be to find me the moment I stepped any closer. Ah, I know. I just I haven't seen you in so long. And I just want, like, we should totally play Muscles and Monsters again. And Scuts just gets kind of lost in a nostalgia moment. Or just go and, and give you a, a nice gentle hug. Uh, very clearly missing you as well but also trying to keep it professional considering she was here specifically because she was working and wasn't supposed to be found out <laughs> at the very least I can use this opportunity to help been here for a few more days before you got here and found some interesting little details. I'm sure you've noticed that uh, people have stopped dying recently, at least here. Uh, yeah, that's been weird. I can't say yep. I know exactly the source of it, but that oh-so-pleasant king was spending a lot of time in the cellars of his mansion in the few days beforehand and refusing to let anyone go in even his own guards had some stations outside even stationed me outside but not allowed to enter within and I could 
sense uh, the, the the tang of fiendish magic down there. Wants to know wow. if she can get us in. I can certainly try, but with the king missing, chaos may prove just as pleasurable as it could be painful. I'm going to nudge our head gently in the ribs. I stuffed him in my shirt. I saw. Very impressive. I thought you grew out of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's actually kind of becoming a problem. Well, are you at least keeping your shirt on this time? Uh, yeah, definitely. Just gives you a blank, disappointed look. Scuts is just going to open the shirt, pull it half off, and, like, act like she's going to swoop her in before she stops and just kind of giggles. <laughs> See, she, I'll she have to send her back to Granny. Well. Uh, okay. Well, let's get you back to the mansion. Unless there's somewhere else you needed to go to first. Yeah, we should find out what's in this spooky cellar, guys. What input should I be using for my uh, disguise kit? Uh, so disguise kit is usually charisma. It depends on essentially what you're trying to do with it. Um, so if Rolled you... well. Can I, can I disguise myself as the king and go in the mansion? <laughs> <laughs> okay um okay so you you take a bit of time using the the help of your your new shape-shifting friend to essentially act as a mirror to for yourself to be able to you know paint your beard to be the same white that, that the king's was and uh, make sure the uh, the shape of your robes look similar uh in style to the ones that the uh, the king was wearing and sure enough, it's it's quite a reasonable disguise. Unless somebody was really studying to try and work out the differences, they were a spitting image of what the king looked like. This is what it feels like when something works. <laughs> Let me mark that you are currently king shaped. Brown or something I can use. There's too many tokens now. Why did I update this? Oh. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I can't really see it, but it'll do. So, anybody else wanting to... Oh, there you go. Find the king one for me. Thank you. Um, anything, any, anything anyone else wants to do? I'll take that now. So, uh, or transforms once again into that same guard... Uh, and escorts you back to the manor. Let me do things around before I send you back. Okay. So, uh, by this time, it is probably about 4 or 5 p.m. 
still light out, but it's definitely um, heading towards the end of the day. Uh, most of the guards uh, seem to have sort of converged um, on this area uh, to try and uh, make sure it, the, comp the the place is secure. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, your shape-shifting friend sort of offers a vague salute uh, and goes off to sort of join where the the guards would be stationed uh, to try and blend in. So, at the moment, Bennett is disguised as the king. Oh, hail the king! Uh, Etc. The the guards have left you be. Um, the place seems to very much be in emergency. Uh, in an emergency. But, what would you like to do? I think we just follow Bennett's lead at this point, because... I if he's as good as the disguise we've said he is, well, we can go anywhere. Yeah, I very much want to head towards the um, this manor house or whatever it is that the king yeah. lived in. So this is the the manor of the uh, that the king lives in. Uh, as you go past the guards, they do. Uh, Offer a salute to you uh, while staying at attention in the areas that they're in. As far as they're concerned, you are the king. <laughs> appear as if don't get too close, don't act too different. So long as you're uh, believable from a distance, they will uh, very much believe you are the king. So, cool. Nedrin, Skirts, Zolk, are you just following along with Bennett? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I thought you had, oh, yeah. uh, the tokens aren't updating much on uh, Roll20, so I just want to make sure. I was busy yes, listening. Skirts is invisible. <laughs> I, I, you do have your it. soft hooved epithet now, thanks to last week's stealth Skirts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you follow behind Bennett. The guards do look a little bit quizzical at the this uh sudden change of heart from the uh the king towards uh demi humans, but considering you're also the ones that stopped the Kraken, they they can kinda of make the connection, even if they can't fully believe it. Well, that that was something that I was going to do. I was going to. I'm guessing that this area here is like a a raised area yes. where we would do addresses from. I was going to stand on that, and I was going to announce to everybody that uh, yeah. these are our esteemed guests. Now I can't remember what your king voice was. These are our esteemed guests now. Right. Okay. These are our esteemed guests now. There we go. They helped fight the Kraken and kept the Kraken at bay. They are we're my guests and they will come wherever I go, unhindered. And if I catch whichever guards fled from the scene, I will have you shackled and lynched. The, the guards stand, snap to attention, uh... We're trembling a little bit at the uh, that not only the fact that a kraken showed up and was defeated by these heroes somehow, but also that if they get found out, they're going to get lynched. Oh, on we go. Okay. Oh, there's the kid. So, you find uh, the captain of the guard. Um, currently trying to perform sort of medical attention on the prince although 
he seems completely unharmed. It's more that the captain's panicking and the kid is just excited that he got to see a Kraken and see a big fight. And But he's a little bit mad that uh, they didn't get to see the end of it. I wanted to see the big fish like fight Daddy and then Daddy wins and then it was going to be so cool. Why'd you take me away so quickly? Who's he talking to? Is he talking to me? No, he's talking to the, the guard that's sort of trying to look after him. Uh, but as you come in, dressed as the king, uh, the kid sort of leaps up uh, and runs into a hug with you, Bennett. Sort of wraps her arms around you. Daddy, daddy, I... you're back! Why did you get separated? That's not like you. Oh, never mind, son. Oh, shit, I've forgotten the voice already. I'm trying to sound like David Mitchell. Um, <laughs> the metals, uh, never mind. I stumbled at the moment, but I was hauled to my feet by this uniboard demi-human here, and I was protected. They are very much the heroes we thought they were. Oh, wow. Just like in the stories. Are they going to say stories about how you saved them? We will regale many stories about them, but we must, first of all, take a moment to remember the great, the greatest hero of the fight, Bennett, who sacrificed himself, which is why he's not here now. But wasn't he the, wasn't he the leader? Wasn't he the good one? Because he was the human one. Scouts will no. drop to her knees. Tears in her eyes. Ha! <laughs> No one will ever replace Bennett. No, I'll stand no, at um, I'll stand at Scott's shoulder and just squeeze her shoulder gently and look very sad and nod sagely. We'll also look sad. They all start drooling. <laughs> the whole squad phoning it in. <laughs> now, no, my son, don't you get this? Yeah. <laughs> don't you be as upset. While one hero falls, another stands in their place. It was this unibor demi-human here who fed a dragon to the Kraken, and the dragon was satisfied and will now leave us alone. But first, we must go home, because I want to show our esteemed guests around our house, and I would like you very much to be involved in them, because... <sighs> You seem to have taken to them so well. Do I get to give the tour, Daddy? Yes, and I will follow. Oh, yeah. He immediately starts running off uh, in, towards here. Not too fast, son. We need to keep up. I don't know the way. Just walk with purpose and see where you end up. I guess we're following the kid now. We're following the kid now, apparently. Yep. <laughs> so... Come on, esteemed guests, come and uh, come take the tour of my my house. <laughs> it's it's really a lovely house. So in here, uh, Temenos, the, the prince, starts pointing around. Oh, oh, here's here's where we get all of our nice foods, and, and all the cooks do all the the really nice stuff. And we, it's lots of like fish and crabs. And all these monsters. It's like the Kraken, but tinier. <gasps> I wonder if they can make something out of the Kraken you killed. <gasps> and then he starts running the opposite direction uh, into the complete other side. That's in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and here's where where uh, we pay respects to the the star gods, and and we we tell them that we like them, and that we're very grateful for them, and please don't stab our city again, and we'll be really nice this time, yeah, and this is where they told uh, you, Daddy, that the that Thassa wanted a gift, and then you made all that secret treasure for her. All that stuff out yes. of the, the cellar, it was so cool. Yes, yes, the cellar, yes, it's a wonderful cellar. 
Uh, but it turned out we, I was wrong. I will hold my hands up. Don't, just don't tell anyone that I was wrong. But uh, it turned out that Kraken just wanted a very big piece of food. Luckily, a green dragon was offered. Oh. Yes. So yes. it was just hungry. Yes, not all of the great things in the world wants riches and jewels. But why? Some things are just strange, my boy. Some things are just strange. That's really monstrous. Yes. Now, show our esteemed guests our cellar where we keep our treasures. I'd really like to show them off. I I didn't think I was allowed in the, the cellar. Oh, yeah. but you are this time, boy. You are <gasps> this time. Oh, yay! And he runs off this way. Slow down, my boy. Don't fall down the stairs. There's before a pair of guards that are stood at uh, attention at the entrance to some stairs leading down. They sort of stand at attention, looking a little uh, confused. Uh, sir, uh, is there anything we could do for you, sir? Nothing today, thank you. Just please step aside. I require access to the basement here. Uh, Stella. But why is everyone else here, sir? You told us specifically only to let you in. Yes, but before today, nobody had saved our city from a kraken before. This here is Scut the Unibore. She may be demi-human, but she's also the saviour of our city now. Now, if you do not stand aside, I will have you lynched. Make either a deception or intimidation check. And this is where it falls apart. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. They immediately sort of uh, shiver at this recurring fear uh, of being executed for not following orders uh, as they salute... Uh, and step aside. Thank you. You're a good man. Now, my boy, lead the way. Okay, give me a moment. Everyone onto the stairs. Okay. So, uh, excitedly, the, the little prince uh, runs down the stairs, uh, slipping a little bit, but uh, catching himself in some of the pots uh, and jars at the at the base of the steps. As you filter in. You are hit with this stink of mould and damp, uh, as you would kind of expect from uh, a large uh, cellar in this sort of level of humidity. Uh, the main room opens up to a near pitch black uh, room filled with various uh, boxes uh, and clay pottery. Uh, those that can't see in the dark either uh, would need to resort to torches or to some other form of light. I cast light on the top of my uh, pike. It now glows like a, like a lantern. Anyone else? I'm going to get out Mr. Torchy. Yeah. I'm going to open up my little pocket and out crawls a, a human arm holding a torch with little legs that sprouted out of, like, the... Oh, I forgot you had elbow. that. <laughs> oh, God. As if this could get any weirder. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> so... What, you want my horn to glow or something? Cliche. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> it already shoots lightning. Oh, God. All right. So, with the, the room now illuminated uh, 
Prince Temenos is just sort of wide-eyed, excited, because this is the first time, uh, as far as you're aware, that he's been down here. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that he would uh, know where to go. I'm going to uh, cast Attack Magic. Uh, sure Not as a ritual, I'm just going to use oh, a spell slot. Just do it. it. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to click, and that's probably a slow night. Character check, just need to. Token. If there's anything weird down here, 30 I'll know feet, it. 20 feet? I think it's 30, give me a moment. I'm pretty sure it's 30, I just don't want to double check. Detect magic is 30 feet radius. 30 foot radius, okay. okay. Uh, we don't want to go through walls. Uh, from there, uh, you can't detect any magic. Fine. But if I walk into a room, I, it might go ping. It might go ping. This is the machine that goes ping. Is it concentration for detect magic? I believe so. Okay, just to make sure. Uh, it ritual is. Ritual might detect magic while we're at it. What are you doing? A, a ritual might detect magic just in case. Well, you'll have to sit there for 10 minutes while everyone else wanders off because uh, Dios paid for his. He gets it immediately. Ex uh, express shipping on his uh, design yeah. magic. I paid for the 24 hour express shipping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nothing will go wrong. I'll be fine. <laughs> so you're just going to sit down and start casting? Or are you. Uh, just... I'll pass on it and hope nothing okay. goes wrong. That I'll... is also potentially a wise decision. Or not. You never seeing know. Zulk sit down, fussing about whether or not to... to I, I've seen him do it before, maybe. I don't know. I'm like, I get out my, my little rope harness, my little baby Bjorn, and I point to it like, you want to ride? Have we actually got toddler reins for him? Seriously. <laughs> you needed them after he, kept, after he jumped in the river uh, Tartarex. I mean, I, mean, I dipped it... him in the other ones, so <laughs> we actually do have toddler reins for him. Okay. Yeah. They were initially made for Neil, but they have become um, used for Zulk more than Neil at this point. Oh. Yeah, Neil's well behaved. <laughs> yeah. He it? just I... rules. He's a good boy. He just he has one thing: just smiles and drools. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up Zulk and put him in to the front-facing harness. Uh, and I then I will say, reach into my granny bag. What? Okay, this no. guy, this oh, no. right. <laughs> I'll Not reach mine. into my side pocket and pull out the pair of sunglasses that Bennett gave me, and I will put them on Zulk. Wait, what? I don't oh. know. Apparently, I'm doing. Uh, was it the Hangover? I don't know. <laughs> you put sunglasses <laughs> on a baby. <laughs> it was oh, the man. image I had flash into my mind. So there you go. You have light sensitivity too, so it works. Yes. Now the lights don't hurt your eyeballs. Even pat though you this on the is head. the one time that you don't need it because you're underground. Brian. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Maybe. If we can make it Theros themed. Oh, Brian. Make him a three headed and demons. just call it a, a chimera. There's de devils and demons in Theros. It's fine. <laughs> You've already got aberrations in Zulk. Yes. There is, <laughs> there is that. Alright. Uh, so, mm. your detect magic isn't pinging anything off at the moment. You just seem to be in a normal storeroom. The okay. pots seem to be uh, filled with uh, either wine or water. Uh, and it's up to you if you wanted to start digging into the, the chests. We'll kind of keep walking until something goes bing! <laughs> Uh, from there, it's still no pings. Ooh, chest. Chinese. There is some pings now. Okay. All the, uh, the boy to follow. Uh, you get uh, pings on these ones. Which ones again, sorry? So the, the two chests here get pings. Okay, I immediately walk over to them. And I'm not going to try and open. As you get to there... Uh you get a very big ping there. 
Okay, what schools of magic are, are we pinging okay. here? Okay. Um... Because I am allowed to know that. Yes, it's more of trying to think of what schools of magic they would be. Um, you would get, I'll say, uh, evocation, um, transmutation, no, enchantment, sorry, enchantment, and then abjuration. Okay, I point to the, the chest or to the above the or something like yeah. that. I'll just say that one might be trapped. Be careful with that one. There's something enchanted in that one, the point to the south. And abjuration. Okay. Okay, this is obviously a chest and the abjuration is whatever the hell is keeping it closed. There are two uh, um, sort of uh, constantly lightly steaming sensors on either side of a heavily engraved large chest. Okay. Is there any sort of religious connotation to these at all? Um, make a religion check. I'll do that immediately. 18. Uh, it's not a practice you're particularly familiar with, uh, as it is very much from the your rival... Uh, God of Erebus. Um, I, 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 I need the boy still following us. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Boy still following. So I step near the chest, and would I, as Bennett, know what that is? Uh, you wouldn't immediately know what it is. You'd, you'd get a feeling of what the inscriptions are all about, although, what languages do you speak? Um, something useless. Um, thieves can't common and gnomish. So, so you can't make out the the particular wording of the text. Uh, but just by looking at this thing, it turns your stomach as if looking at something offensive or repulsive, uh, blasphemous. Is it of? Did you say it was an Erebus thing? So, uh, from what DS could understand, uh, the engravings has something to do with Erebus, uh, as there's a lot of uh, markings uh, that would typically be associated with the underworld. Uh, and as soon as you look at it, although you can't read what it, uh, any of the inscriptions say, uh, just the sight of it, uh, turns your stomach as if you're looking at something quite blasphemous. Fortunately, I don't know comprehend languages, which makes things a little bit. Am I still being hoisted around by Scots? I mean, she's not restraining you, so if you want to get down, you can get down. No, no, I'm, I mean, I can still follow and start ritual casting, yes? Yes. Yeah. That was I'm the point. Start ritual casting yeah. comprehend language. Okay. Well, what are you going to do in the ten minutes? Uh, the Zark's uh, thinking about how to talk to people. Well, you can't talk to people with with that spell. It just understands what they say. There's a difference. Yeah, that is very true. We can also read. Yes, it's oh, reason. Uh, we can understand, read. Uh, other languages. It is a delightfully useful spell. Considering it does seem quite under underwhelming, but it is not. It is a very good spell. It is an excellent spell. I'm going to leave this chest well enough alone for now. Okay. Start right. walking through to the other side of the uh, basement. Okay, anybody else going with Dios? Or are you all yeah, staying I'll, I'll in the, the room with the, <laughs> the spooky chest? Trying to keep the uh, facade going like I'm uh, giving the boy a uh, guided tour of the basement. Okay. Uh, 
might be a good idea to send him upstairs if we unleash something quite nasty down here. We don't want to add his deaths to our conscience as well. You might not give a shit, but Dios does. Conscience. I, 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 I need the boy here. Okay. Oh. Interesting. So, everyone else is staying in the room with the spooky chest. Fantastic. Okay. Dios, uh, you would have pinged um, uh, it'll be enchantment magic on these shelves over here. I'll immediately have a look. Anything that jumps out at me? Actually, I would be able to see what's Yeah, you'd be able to see what's pinging up. Uh, There's a handful of what you would guess to be um, uh, wizard spell books. Oh, um, so notes on different types of spells uh, and how to cast them. I will grab those for study later. Okay, uh, mark down that you've got. Uh, just put yeah, uh, three wizard spell books from uh, Neil Antin. I should hopefully remember. Unless you've got identifiers, yeah. so I don't think you can read a spell book as a cleric no yeah. um i mean you'd be able to look at it but yeah you wouldn't be able to cast from it or like fully get no. a, a, a grip on what they're on about as wizards are no. weird. yeah well, wizards have their own you can they can traditionally they're written in a sort of code that yeah. only the wizard who wrote it can, can understand but they can be broken yeah so or I can sort out what they actually are later. That's fine. <laughs> uh, other, uh, no other magic so far. I'll just keep walking. No magic. I'm going to take a very quick look around here. Is there any obvious like scratch marks on the floor or gaps in the walls or anything like that that would denote hidden doorways and things like that? Uh, make a uh, investigation check. Oh, don't like those. Yeah, not good. Yeah, have a look around, but this place is not only quite filthy. Um, it's not very well organized. Um, okay. You get the feeling that uh, the king was avoiding laying people down here for such a length of time. The, the ability to sort of keep track of everything uh, was well, based on him alone and he had uh, bigger fish to fry okay so while Dios has been doing that Zolk you are comprehending languages what was it I needed to read but that's a good question the inscription on the chest at the other end Okay, let's have a gander then. So, uh, does comprehend languages let you actually know what something's written in, or just understand what it means? Um, I think you know what language it is. I understand the literal meaning of any spoken language and any written language. I must be touching it, and it takes about a minute. So, no, uh, you don't know what language it's in, you just understand its meaning. So you... Place it, so you put are you going to touch it? Yeah, and I'll just read out anything I figure uh, out. So you place your hand uh, on the uh, large chest and it feels cold. Like icy, icy cold. Uh, as you sort of read through this inscription and essentially the translation would be uh, that this is a chest designed to uh, stop someone from escaping. It's essentially like a portable prison cell kind of thing for uh, a way for particularly slippery individuals um, that try and escape uh, death or that try and to um, escape judgment, uh, get brought in 
by being placed within these chests. Think of it as if you slap in handcuffs on someone, but instead of putting them in handcuffs, you put them inside a box. I think I'll call it weird. Shirt. What do you do to book most of the things in Scottish shirt? <laughs> Instead of what's in the box, it's what's in the bag. Right, if hmm. we send it to... Well, what is in the box? A person, maybe. I look to see if there's any obvious way to open it. Uh, there does seem or, to be uh, a large lock. Can I check first for any traps on it? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. I'm not very good at this. Definitely not very good at this. Uh, not only can you not really see any traps, uh, you can't even see a way to unlock the lock. You can very clearly see where there's uh, a large... Um, sort of shape that's specifically holding uh, the lid closed, but there's no keyhole or uh, inscription or anything like that. It's just a blank solid piece of metal. So mad I gave up heat metal right now. <laughs> so, uh, do we know what's on the chest? Oh, do you? Well, you know. the language. I'm on on. The... So, you, you can't tell the specific language, but essentially the meaning was oh, that uh, this particular item is used to. Uh, catch uh, particularly slippery people that try and escape uh, death uh, or consequence uh, and is used to transport them to the underworld. Okay. What about these the, uh, braziers? They are, the uh, yeah, braziers that are uh, uh, slowly sort of uh, wisping a, a sweet smelling smoke. Okay, yeah. is there any obvious way to open this chest? I'm not going to, but I just want to see. It if does there is have one. Like, it essentially looks like a sarcophagus lid, so it's this sort of solid top to be it. Pushed open. Uh, but it does seem locked shut uh, by uh, this sort of large solid piece of metal that has no no real defining features to it other than the fact that it's like essentially a big latch uh, but there's no keyhole there's no inscription or anything like that on it interesting fortunately we could do with the king to tell us what this is fortunately he's not here and the the kid pulls on. Yes, he is. Uh, Bennett's <laughs> robe. But, but daddy's right here. I didn't say it out loud. That was me thinking. Yeah. That was my inner monologue. <laughs> Dios has an inner monologue that everyone else can hear. <laughs> no. Well, if he has, if he did say it out loud, it was in Leonin that no one else yes. can understand apart from Zolk. <laughs> well, no, he has to touch you to understand it. Oh, I'm staying well away from him. <laughs> I've waterboarded the rat at least twice already. Don't make me do it a third time. It's hug time. It's hugging time. <laughs> Scott's just hugs Zulk really tight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you open? Well, should we even open it? I want to open it. You want but to I'm... open it? I definitely do want to open it. <gasps> I have an idea. Uh, so can I 
take out my wondrous paints and paint a keyhole on the box and paint a key on the top. And then I would like to peel the key off and try to stick it in the lock. That's genius. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the only thing I think for that, uh, are there any checks required for that? No. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Don't think... If Wait. anything, it's a performance oh. check to do the painting, if that's uh, it. One, one um, more additional thing. I'd like to paint a line that? around the top. No, you're Does just it have hinges? The, it's just the fact that it's using paint, and it's it can't be greater value than 25 gold, which it, it wouldn't be. Okay. That's genius. Okay. I will make sure I paint hinges and a line for it to open if it doesn't have something as such already. You... I will turn it into a functional box, question yeah. mark. You uh, take some brushes out and uh, essentially uh, paint a full padlock over this big hinge, uh, as well as paint on the wall behind you, the fitting key for it, place it within turn and click it opens that was too genius uh, not to allow it to happen that is that was incredible that well was done well played Thank yeah you. can't Thank fault you. that <laughs> i um, recommend some sort of inspiration to scots for that uh, there will be an epithet at the end of the, the session <laughs> we don't do yeah. we don't do inspiration we do epithets fair fair Okay, does anyone want to open the box or shall Scuts do it? What in the box? I think we get Zulk to do it because he's already cursed as hell. Might as well add one more to it. Yeah, I'm alright with that. I'm down for that. I will take him out of the... Uh... No, Knowing his curiousness, I, I'm going to set him down and figure he's going to go for the key and try to open it. And I'm going to step back just a bit. Still holding the reins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so Zolk, are you trying to to push the top off of this uh, this chest box? What's in the box? Make uh, <laughs> an athletics check. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hear. A heavy box, <laughs> a tiny rat. But with a heave and a hoe. You start pushing as the lid starts sliding. And as soon as there's about uh, six inches of uh, of space on, beneath the lid, a large spectral hand reaches out and grabs your wrist as if trying to pull you in. Huh. Uh, make a uh, strength saving throw, please. Is that one of the ones I have advantage on? I don't think it is. I remember I have it on something. Nope, just disadvantage on charms. Okay. So, uh, you can't really pull your hand away from this uh, spooky sort of it's almost like elongated fingers mm -hmm. with sharp uh, pointed fingernails, almost like claws. Mm -hmm. Uh, curling around your wrist, holding you tight. How's it going down there, buddy? I'm going to step in. And I'm going to like whisper into the box. And then it's going to say, Uh, I know why you're here. You need to return to Erebus. You are free now. Uh, Leave this place. Make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, immediately the hand uh, withdraws away uh, from Salk. Is the... Uh, uh, chest seems to continue to open itself from there as stepping out is everyone this thing oh 
A nightmare shepherd. That a sounds tall, like a barrel of laughs. Gaunt fiend with wide, thin wings. That inside the wingspan you can see countless uh, faces and sort of silhouettes of people. I'll step back a second. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to ask it if it's been tinkering with people's dreams and that's why it's in the box. What's in that box? No. I was sent after the king. But failed. Caught in my own trap. I thank you, fellow champion of our master. Of famed death for my freedom. You're welcome. Tell me what has become of our charge. Does he yet live? Is that the king? Yes. He, he lives for now, but his existence is right now is potentially worse than death. This is acceptable. Go with the blessing of death. I must return to duty and allow death to return to Neolantin. He sort of disappears into smoke. Ooh, glad we have to fight him. And then, still dressed as the king, I'll turn to the boy and say, Now, oh boy, that, that was our most valid and greatest treasure. And now, a science experiment. I'm going to run him through with Soul Reaver. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not a chance. Uh, you cut him clean straight through. And it. you being an expert assassin uh, know exactly how to skewer a child so that they die immediately. Dios a... steps in. I'm <laughs> sorry, Dios. I have to step in here. He's just going to leap on top of him and just roar in his face. Why? There is no surviving that whatsoever. Done. Erebus called for it. I have to please Erebus. And then, yeah, I'll pick up the boy chuck him in the box close the lid there you go he's buried Wolf. chuck him in the box and clock away Wait. okay happened? I've got my pike leveled right. at his head what's happening now right Blame Bennett. yourself Bennett <laughs> You wouldn't understand. Right. Let me, let me show you something. And Bennett unclasps the buckle on his cape and takes the cape off. Oh, okay. Okay. And looking down, takes his sunglasses off. And then he looks up. And what you see is that Bennett is completely bald. His eyes glow with a slight orange tinge. And all over his body, you see the animated ink tattoos of silent screaming faces. And as you watch, the face of the child appears on him <laughs> in an empty spot. Then it joins in Holy the screen. From... And then Bennett looks at you and he says, this is what I live with every day. I betrayed Erebus, and Erebus cursed me to carry with me the faces of those I murder. 
The louder I speak, the louder they scream in my mind, and only I can hear it. This is something I must appease Erebus for, and so that I may finally get back to living in peace. I will kill anybody that stands in my way to achieve this. And then he just like puts the sunglasses back on, picks his cape. Oh, and by the way, he's wearing thigh high um, leather boots as well. That's what uh, <laughs> somebody once think. saw. <laughs> Whoever it was who saw that under the. Uh, <laughs> that was so under, gig. Yeah. It was so gig on it, yeah. Yeah, so that's what whoever. Man, I wish you would actually told me that so I could have actually started planning some story related to that. I wanted it to be a surprise. Yeah, That's for so everyone cool. else, absolutely. But uh, yeah, I mean, cool. I mean, there's, there's no proof. Uh, there's no benefits from it. It's purely just yeah, flavor. But, 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 yeah, that's, that's what you started planning on how you're going to try and get rid of this curse because that's cool as fuck. Uh, so okay, so at least we now know what not... to do with Bennett going forward. I still have my pike leveled at your face, and I just say. Your god is capricious and evil. No one deserves to be cursed like this. I know. I just lower my pike and walk away. Uh, on the three kobolds uh, reference, I probably imagine there's three kobold screaming faces in there somewhere. There's at least three kobolds in there. <laughs> so, They're technically right. <laughs> That's the best kind of right. <laughs> But then I say, well, I sort of step after them and say, but, well, I turn to Scots and I say, that finish business with the king. Next time we go to Granny's, he's mine. Uh, I'm sorry if his soul is screaming just a little bit louder after being there. She has a little smirk on her face, though. His soul is not with me. Therefore, he lives yet. But one day, I will take it. Guts is going to take out a piece of paper and write, uh, Granny, save the king for Bennett, pretty please love Scuts. And she's going to draw a little picture of the, like, big puppy dog eyes and drop <laughs> it down her shirt. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to step next to Dios and I'm going to, like, just say, we're still best friends, yes. You don't get a response out of him. Oh, bro, don't do me like this, no. <laughs> don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> High five. You, you just get a, an eyebrow raise out of him. <laughs> I just stand there with my hand up. You just murdered a kid in cold blood right in front of him. What, what else is he supposed to think? He does have a point. <laughs> yeah, kind of hard to say no to that one. <laughs> Shit. Anyone yeah, else? And then, I, then, I, then I turn to everybody else and I say, do you want to know what's even worse? I took my disguise off. Oh, how do we get out of here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. But before you do that, though, uh... I'd like to say that, Bennett, you have also completed your ordeal. Uh, Aye. But the king yet lives. Ah, uh, but you've still completed enough of the ordeal to complete the ordeal. Because uh, the king may be alive-ish. Uh, would you really call it life? He might not be that way for much longer. <laughs> uh, at the very least, you've, you've completed the majority of it, enough that you were able to do. So... For, for next session, okay, you will cool. have the Thanatos and Deathbringer uh, traits. And with that, nice. everyone gets a level. Yeah. We level up. Yay! Are we doing a level up now, then? We're doing a level up now. Whoop, whoop. Just real quick before we move on and I forget, uh, Scuts is just going to, like, take a piece of her loincloth and, like, sc scrub off the, the paint, you know. Uh, okay, the, yeah, cool idea. <laughs> Yes, Re reseal it up real quick. This is a good way to lock it, yeah. <laughs> lock the child's dead body in the infinite box. Yeah! yeah. Not this, really... It's got dark. Bennett, we, we gotta talk later, bro. <laughs>
Time for levels. Is anybody multiclassing or putting levels into all classes? Or nope. This is the, the big level seven, I believe. Uh, not quite <laughs> for me. Well, that's because you put a level in a different one, but level seven is play a level, level seven. Card. So I would damage. personally recommend putting no. the point into Barbarian so that you get your infinite spell slots. <laughs> Trying to what everyone else is doing, I think. Yeah, Salt, you definitely want to get more Bard because you need to get to Bard 3, preferably. No. Uh, that is the plan. At what level do you get level 2 spells again? I forgot. Level 3. Okay, that's when I get enlarged. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you, you're getting with all these sweet level ups. Uh, I get my level four spells. I was going to say seventh is fourth level spells, which is concerning. I just discovered I get level 4 spells oh. that I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Question that's actually relevant to the situation. Um, what is the difference between Alter Self and Disguise Self? So Disguise Alter Self is an illusion around you. So you physically don't change, you just change everyone's perspective of you. Alter Self literally changes you. So it doesn't change your clothes, but it will change your appearance basically uh, an illusion versus a physical change. Alter self, I think, is usually better because it's more useful because it does other things other than just disguise you, whereas disguise self is good for just you know, the full disguise. Mm. And the main reason alter self is good is because you can let yourself breathe underwater, which you may need soon. It can do what? Yeah. Okay. Alter self is awesome. All right, so because I already have alter self, I'm taking charm person. Interesting. Yeah, from mutate it, you just you. Not only oh god, what? A, why did I write it like that? So if you take the mutated <laughs> um, epithet, you innately cast alter self. Without requiring a spell slot or concentration. Yep. So you just can constantly either give yourself the ability to breathe underwater, give yourself claws, or change your appearance to look like something else. I'm the king now. And once <laughs> a long rest when you slap somebody, you can make them roll on the flesh walking table. I really want to use that. <laughs> yeah. So that sounds power. brilliant if uh, if Zolk can now disguise himself as the king. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the plan. It, it, it would be a size small uh, version of the king because it can't make uh, you another size bigger. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll try and disguise myself as the king again. Hopefully we're all well again and you describe yourself as the boy. Ah, get there you go. Ah, yes! <laughs> Are we just taking over Neil Lantern at this point? <laughs> we own the place. We now let's move in. We now actually own the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's move in. We've got an ocean view. It's close to where Nadrin lives as well. It's, it's cool. It's perfect. Yeah. We have literally cool just the usurped the ruling family. We've literally, in like just two sessions. Uh, regicide. Yes. Yeah. We've just walked in and taken over the place, and no one fucking knows. So within the first six hours of being in the city. You've already killed the king and the prince. <laughs> and taken their places. <laughs> now that's efficient. Speed running. Owning your own empire. And it, uh, this is all without the one royal in the party as well. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, so man, it's pretty rough. I saw Jim out there. He, he got... Like so many legs and the kelp, he just. I hope he gets free. I might have to go check on him a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Certain he was stabbing a bush. <laughs> I 
we literally own Neo Lanzin at this point. Yep. I'm just trying to You've wrap got my head around you, that. You'll have to keep the deception up. I don't think you'd be able to just say like, well, let's go pilfer the treasury uh, and we don't start need... commanding armies and shit. We don't need to do that for very long. We just need to pilfer the treasury. <laughs> That'll take, what, two hours? It depends on how much carry space you've got. You only got one bag we of could holder. literally just, we could literally just get Scots to open her shirt up and run her around in the treasury like a wheelbarrow. Oh my god! <laughs> like yeah, supermarket. But, but then it, it's not your treasure; it's Granny's. That's okay. It'll make Granny really happy. That's good. Yes, we do not want to make Granny unhappy. I do also have a bag of holding, so we could put a few things in it. You could put a lot in a bag of holding. It's also got quite a bit in there already, I believe, so... I think we can get rid of, like, any, like, beef jerky that's hidden at the bottom of it. But it's chocolate This is just mortified! Right now, my beef... Are you gonna carry my beef jerky, Oh, shit! I I completely forgot something. Zolk, I need you to roll on the um, screening bell table for casting uh, Comprehend Languages. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, no. I forgot that. Cause it's whenever oh, no. you cast a first level spell or higher. There you go. How many targets do you say? Roll a d4 and pick your targets. Oh, two people need to make dexterity saving throws. Which, who are they well, going to be, Zolk? I can see. Which currently is just me, Bennett, or, or Scuts. Unless it can't be me because I can't see myself. Uh, I'll, I'll allow that you could target yourself with offensive spells. I'll allow it for this. That must have been better. It's kind of on, on brand with Zulk. He has no self awareness. Yeah. So. Yeah, who... Scuts would have been holding him when he cast it too, so I'm happy with that. Well, the Scuds would get advantage on this save because of uh, Danger Sense. And then, yeah, Bennett has a 26. I, mean, I know what I'm holding. Um, the rat bites occasionally. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you don't have a 20 uh, spell saving throw. No. Uh, I've met mine. Well, you, well, look for it, you targeted Bennett and Scuds. So I said me and Bennett. Okay, well, either way, uh, if you met it, then yeah, it doesn't. Uh, you you don't get affected by it. It's only people that lose the save that take the, da- uh, the lightning damage. All right, we're all good. You're all good. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was hoping I was hoping that some damage would be rolled because now that I've just leveled up to level seven, I've now got evasion, which means that whenever I have to make a dexterity save, if I pass it, I take no damage. If I fail it, I still only take half damage. Although, this was before you freed the the Nightmare Shepherd, so uh, the damage wouldn't have stuck anyway. (laughs) But it hurt, and then it would just not happen. And I want to roll on that table as often as possible, because it's funny. (laughs) I might be, like, realising this now, I'm I'm guessing that other people might have done, but (laughs) were we also immune to death while that thing was in that box? That's a good question. You didn't find out. Oh, we should have just oh. took the box with us. It could have been like Groundhog Day or something like that. We could have just been, you know, doing mad shit over and over again and getting killed, but then just being like, oh, it was nothing. I mean, it would have affected everyone around you as well. <laughs> if it even works oh. like that. It'd make good for the fighting pits. Yeah, a gift for our uh, our friend Mahadi. Yeah, you might be able to get your press station back. Yeah. <laughs> hey. good for that box. <laughs> so I feel like we should pick up this chest and go take a take a trip to Tethmoss. Yeah, start <laughs> marching across the entire world again. We control this place, so we're done here. <laughs> I mean, do you? Yeah, have... we've, we've, we've set up a base, or what? Well, we could carry on try to I mean, the base. I'm okay if the story wants to go to you conquering Neolantin and having your own polis to start threatening the other three. 
If you want to create your own Theros army uh, based on the events of what happened today, I am willing to make that story happen. <laughs> Playing Civilization now, you see. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's turn this into Civ. Oh my god, I'm so glad I scooped him up. This is like the best possible twist of crazy events. I love this so much. Because then you All can right. essentially have, you'll go to Olan to, to try and make diplomatic ties to reunite the cities as opposed to just visiting Nadrin's parents. And since Bennett isn't King Butthead, we might actually be able to have some peaceful negotiations. Sorry. Hey! But then, how do you keep up the, the, the charade the entire time? How do you convince the population that your disguises are accurate? <laughs> Closest to uh, they feel inspired to go travel the lands with the good dudes. Leave someone in position behind us, probably maybe Ara, and then. No, I think nobody knows. I think there's an important character that might show up that would be a very good um, king regent while you're away, and that's oh, your is absolute it Frank favorite off? chef. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good dude. If you go find it, that's that's your next big quest is to go and find uh, an ally to act as your uh, uh, regent while you're away. Oh, we've got got this sister. You yeah, certainly do for the time being. About to shout. As far as you're aware, they're a shape changing fiend that has the ability to charm people. So, shape changing fiend, not changing to the king. I could do. You'd have to go Don't find her me. again, but. Back up. Do I have sending yet? Oh, I don't have it prepared. Uh, you did just level up, so you, that's considered a long rest if you want to change uh, spells around. Oh, absolutely. Same with we'll uh, epithets as well, if you want to change any epithets around. No, I'm keeping the epithets, but. Yeah, it's more for, for everybody. Mine are good as is. I uh, can't remember what mine or what, what's oh. available to me. How many can we have active? Uh, so if you have three story, it's one. Ten story, it's two. Twenty five story, three. Or fifty story, four. Okay, then I can add one more. Ooh, which one? All right. Uh, what does casting seeming mean? Uh, if you go to the compendium and search, search seeming, it's in fact it should actually be on your character sheet. I'm sure I put it in your spells. It's like a mask. I have spells. It's, it's mask disguise self essentially. A fifth level spell, so it's you know doesn't doesn't take names. Uh, but yeah, it's essentially mask disguise self. I didn't know I had spells. You do have spells. You've had spells since the first session of the game. You've been able to cast Bane uh, a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus uh, every day. Uh, That's an amazing spell. You've got um, Vampiric Honestly, Touch. This is the first I'm hearing of it. No, I've told you before. Uh, and I've told you once, but this is from being a cultist of Erebus. This is where that lot comes from. This is your piety stuff. Well, what's your 25 one? Uh, Erebus. Yeah, uh, you get Vampiric Touch, and then when it, when a creature dies within 10 feet of you, you can use your reaction to gain a number of temporary hit points equal to your level. So you'd also have seven temporary hit points for killing the child. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I just feel like I've been playing this game on hard mode. You have, been, you do since. it with every character you've ever played. Is you've uh, you've played yeah. it on hard mode. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of feel like I still don't know how to play this. Game. <laughs> it's been three years. It's been longer than three years. 
I think it has been longer I than think that. It's close to like four to nearly five at this oh, point. Jesus. We've been playing with you for nearly a year now. The descent to Avernus really lasted for nearly two years. And then we had almost a full year of uh, Hermesia. Long time. Ah, oh, nostalgia. Anyway. Right, um, right, let me. As you're sorting your level up and making sure you're actually keeping track of what your characters can and can't do. Um, you still find yourself in the same situation you were in where uh, you have freed the Nightmare Shepherd and death has returned to Neolantin uh, the prince is dead, the king is MIA uh, there is a chest with evocation and a chest with um, enchantment and we now know that Bennett is cursed to have the screaming faces of everybody he's killed on his body. Okay, I'm going to uh, give Scots a nudge. Mm. Scots, what's your sister's name again? Oh, that's Aura. Aura? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rummage around in my pouch and pull out this very short bit of wire. And just, uh, I'm going to cast Sending. I can send a short message of 25 words or less to a creature mm. with which I am familiar. I've seen her and yeah. spoken to yes, her. Yes, uh, familiar just means you've met them at least once, yeah. Yes. And it can go across planes and any distance. Yeah, and it's only like when that. it's on a different plane that it has a chance to fail. Otherwise, it's guaranteed. Yep. That's fucking cool. Just... <laughs> I love sending. Yep. Yeah. It's a great spell. So I'm just going to send the message to, uh, to Aura. Okay. 25 words or Aura. less. Aura, it's Dios. Come down to the basement. It's urgent. We need your assistance. I'm to stop it there. Uh, you can reply. A few seconds pass. Before you get the reply. I'll be there as soon as I can. So, well, that's I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait at the top of the stairs because I'm presuming there are still two guards posted outside. There are still two guards posted outside. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait until she approaches. I'm gonna presume the guards are going to try to stop her. Then I'll step out and say the king has summoned her. Let let them in. Okay. So while you're waiting, is anyone else doing anything? To be safe, I'm going to try and get the king disguised back on, but I've got a feeling I'm not going to get that good roll like I got last time. Okay, be a charisma based disguise kit check. Shit. Yeah, there's a bit too much of the, the young prince's blood on the old dis uh, king disguise to, to be quite convincing. Might we'll have to stay out of sight. I will, I will wait at the bottom of the stairs and I will uh, shout up if they do stop her. Like Dio said, Dio's can say she's been summoned and if they question it, I'll shout up. Okay. Anybody else? Guts, Nadrin, Zolk, anything that you want to do while you're waiting for or to arrive. Scouts is going to try to press to digitize his cape again, but the spell fizzles and she just angrily thinks about chocolate beef jerky again. <laughs> um she will attempt to maybe try to like scrub out some of the blood maybe. She's she's going to like wring out some of the blood into uh, I don't know, uh, do I have a jar or an empty vial or anything from Zulk. I'm, I'm trying to save it for Sogeg. He 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 would appreciate the memento. <laughs> <laughs> he needs it for Pogeg. Um, let's see, where are we? Uh, ah, give it as an offering stuff. to the new god. <laughs> there we go. There's my character sheet. 
So for that, I would probably say a survival check would be the, the go-to for trying to clean something, unless you've got a tool of some kind that would be uh, more uh, appropriate. So like anything um, like a sewing kit, or I'm trying to think of what they would be called in D&D. So there are you know, fabric making stuff, cobbler's tools and all that lot. I'll make a survival check. She's going to take out her water skin, drink a big swig of it, and pour a small amount down Bennett's cape to kind of make it a little more moist. And then she's going to try to wring it back out, diluted uh, into the water skin. Okay. I will make a survival check. There we go. Okay. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to be at advantage, I'm sorry. With uh deft precision, uh you managed to wring out uh the the child blood into the empty water skin. If, without diluting it too much. It is a bit thinner, but it is very still distinctly fresh blood of a child. The child that you murdered. God, you know, Granny would probably really like this, actually. <laughs> yeah, I definitely would. Him and uh, Granny, Granny and Jim can can have it together over over I'll dinner sometime. <laughs> All right, I'll tuck it away and give Bennett the thumbs up. You look a little less gory now, pal. And it just nods in appreciation. Zulk, Natrin, Secretly, Natrin. she just wanted to take another look at those thigh highs because <laughs> they were pretty bitching. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, looking forward to the doodle of that. Uh, the, <laughs> when you do the the sprint, the party sprinting gif, and you've got the but it's cape flopping up, and it's just the 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 thigh highs underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to edit that a little bit now so it shows his thigh highs. <laughs> yeah, the boots are far too short. Understood. A stiletto heels. Okay. Uh, Not quite stilettos, but there's maybe an inch there. Well, you want them nice and thin so you can... They're, they're extra knives to do your assassinating children with. Well, it's like... I don't know, like quiet stalking is fine, but if you're like coming up to somebody, just the clickety clack of the heels on the <laughs> ground coming up to them is like just some icing on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Scott's is gonna try to follow Dios up the stairs okay. here. I'm not uh, going up there. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for your sister. So I oh. can't see me. Uh. So you should be uh, I can click on something there. I can So uh I'd probably suggest uh, I don't see myself, I just uh, see Neil. Ref have you refreshed roll twenty? I did try to and it didn't work. I'll try again though. <laughs> I can click on you. Yeah, everyone else is. Well, Nidrin has an existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> You're really here, I promise. But I'm not. Guts gives her a big hug. Please token work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so this chest has yeah, the evocation magic that Dia spotted. This one has enchantment. Uh, the, you've got your handful of new spells. Uh, is there anything you want to do in the immediate while we're, uh, we're waiting? I don't know. So. I did not realize I was muted. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I shall become the child. <laughs> You are using alter self to turn yourself into the child. Note that he doesn't change your clothes. Well, I mean, there's a dead kid wearing the right clothes. 
that is covered in, in blood and uh, with a big old a hole through it, and it's in the chest that's locked shut. Didn't think this far ahead. Yeah, there, yeah, might, be spare, change. there might be spare clothes I'm around here somewhere. Going to pull out the oliphant hide that I have and wrap <laughs> it around him and just be like. Just be really excited you got this from the good dudes. The untreated oliphant hide uh, on a okay. naked child because he's not... Unless, unless uh, Zolk is wearing Zolk-specific clothes. Yeah, just just look. If he if he's wearing his clothes underneath and he wraps himself in this rancid piece of hide, no one's going to go close enough to ask any fucking questions. It's great. Uh, Perfect plan. If Scuds wasn't raised by a hag, I'd have questions about leaving a child with a, a piece of fresh, bleeding meat. Uh, definitely not so fresh leather. anymore. But yeah, it's not I, that fresh. It's a good days old, but... I feel like she would have tanned it out and, like, preserved it, but you know what? This is... This is better. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just, just kind of like... Extra, extra potent right now. That's pretty. Oh god, my my bag of holding must smell horrible. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it's not refrigerated at all or anything like that. So anything that you put in there that uh, could go off has gone off. Jackie, no. <laughs> oh, a bit strange. I wish it was chocolate flavored. All right. <laughs> So, uh, while you work this out, Diaz, yes, after um, almost about half an hour, um, you do see the the guard that let you in uh, wants to come to the, the two guards uh, that are uh, on, uh, on duty at the top of the, the stairs into the cellar. Uh, and she begins to try and Explain why she needs to go uh, and patrol underneath. I will push my head out and say, the king has summoned this one. Let her in. Then I'll just turn around and walk down. Uh, hold on a moment. How is they, How has the king summoned them without leaving himself? I am a cleric. I can send messages to people with magic, and I will Pull out the magic, uh, the um, the copper wire, and I will put a message in his head saying, "Do you believe me now?" I sent the summons. To think that the the king would resort to a demi-human. I understand that you may have saved us, but to resort to mind games. You're questioning the king. He'll be very interested to hear that. I'm questioning a demi-human. What's going on up there? Make a deception check, Bennett. Does he get advantage because I'm leading this one? Yes. They can't actually it's see sort him. of a, a co-op thing, yeah. Advantage. Roll it again. 15. Okay. They immediately stiffen up at the the voice. Sorry, sir. We'll, we'll we'll let them. We'll let them throw. But this does seem unorthodox. Uh, would you like us to come down as well? No, no, everything's fine. You just why did that change to weird London? Then? Everything's fine. You just oh, I can't do it. Anymore. Just so stay there. Whatever feels natural. Let her through. Stay there. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sir. Well, uh, you sound a bit off. Are, are you okay, sir? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> but you've got to imagine that I still sound like David Mitchell. But, yes. Uh, yes, I'm fine. Everything is well down here. I'm just showing the, uh, showing the new heroes of uh, Earl Anton, the the treasures that we hold down here. 
Very well, sir. That's... If that's... What do you wish to do? They step aside and, and let the disguised aura uh, down the stairs as well. I clo make sure the door is closed as she comes in. I'll, I'll have a transform just so it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Aura. We might need your help. So soon. Yeah, I just thought you wanted to talk. How would you like to run a city? Okay, usually I expect a bit more foreplay before jumping into something like that. What's uh... foreplay? <laughs> Run a city. I'll break it down for you. The king? Not really the king anymore. The prince? A wave. Oh yeah, yeah. Salt is the, a, a naked prince boy wrapped in uh, yeah. elephant hide. <laughs> Remember the, the little idiot rat folk? That's him. I mean... You didn't really need to say that to me for me to make the, that connection. The, the smell is pretty obvious, yes, I know. But anyway, we have may have accidentally completed a coup de grace on this city. We technically own it at this point. We need a regent. Can you disguise yourself as the king and run the place for a while? It could be possible. We'd have to ask our dear sweet granny to for the permission, as that would uh, otherwise. Um, Why do I get the feeling that in... granny would want everything that she could possibly get her hands on in this city? Oh, I agree on that part. But there's one thing that she wants more than that. And that's to make sure that this one, and she points to Skirts, is as safe as she can be. And as powerful as the amazing witch can be, can't have eyes everywhere at all times. Especially not eyes that can also intervene when needed. So it would have to be something real convincing argument you wouldn't have to do it forever it could be something as simple as take the king's place hang around for a week or so enough for us to get a suitable distance and then announce that you're going on a trip with your son and uh, place someone you trust in the highest echelons to keep the sea warm for a while I will consider. He steps past you to go and speak to Skats to get her sort of uh, opinions on the matter. So, so, um, I might need your help on this one. I swiped the king, I sent him to Granny, then we lied to everybody, and then Ben and killed the prince. And I don't want everybody to chase me and my friends down. So we just got to play it cool until we find someone to take over. <gasps> I know the perfect. I know the perfect person. I'll find my buddy, Frankos, and I'll send him here to take over. We just need you to, to cover for a little bit. If I get in trouble with our granny, I'm throwing you under the bus. Bus. I'm, I'm asking you to do me a favor. The double decker chariot. <laughs> if granny gets mad, well, she just makes really big puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Do 
you can see the strain on her face as she's just trying not to break. As your eyes just go wider and wider, the bottom lip quivers, the whole works. Fine, 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 fine. Damn it. <sighs> I hated being this guy. He takes a deep breath, and in a blink and a flash of green fire, uh, the king is once again there. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Aura. She gives her a big hug and then runs over to Dios. Dios, Dios! Yes, Scott? Tell Frankos we have a kingdom full of people who I uh, can't wait to have his delicious cooking. Oh, uh, wait, what? Frankos would totally love this place. Yes, but... But, but, he is an ogre, and, yeah, he makes food that many humans would struggle to eat. And he's not the brightest of creatures, really. You want him to run this place? Are you sure that's wise? Mm. She thinks about anybody she's met on their ventures, and she thinks about the talking cat that we met, and she thinks about the kraken, and she comes back around. No, Frank Ross is the best choice. Are you sure now? I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? I'm trying to rack my brains. Who have we come across that might be suitable? Most people we come across, we either murder or traumatize. <laughs> That's the problem. This one was our problem? Well, it's a problem right now. Doesn't mean it was at the time. What was that forest place that we went through that you death starred? The canopy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but there weren't people in there. Yeah. There weren't people in there. I mean. No, but what if Depends we, uh, on your what definition if we of out? people. What if what if we reached out to them and made peace with them? Because then that way the the way to Satessa would be open again. No, I seriously fucked up that relationship. Oh, we, yeah, are like, oh, okay. we are not going back no, that way okay. ever again. No, that 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 bridge is well and truly burnt. We've stamped on the ashes and then pissed on what's left. That's not coming back. I say we. I did that. You didn't, oh, you didn't even pull any punch that's... whatsoever for it. You just like stepped into the sacred grove and like, <laughs> right, death lasers, here we go. Well, yep. I, I feel like the puppy dog guy has kind of got us into that mess because I Scuts was like, you should fireball that tree. I want to see a fireball. I mean, puppy dog guys. Then we started a fucking fight with the fucking the tree ant. The one tree that was a tree ant. <laughs> it it yeah. was. Good times in, in the Satessan forest. Me and you have very uh, drastic different definitions of what the good time. I saw a boar. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 All right. Dios just pinches the bridge of his nose and sighs very loudly. Uh, right, okay. I mean... Maybe there's someone here they could leave in charge. Captain of the Guard, maybe? I mean, we can try and get a hold of Frankos if you want. I'm not sure it's a great idea, though. I'm open to suggestions. Don't let me do all the thinking. Vote two for Captain of the Guard becoming Frankos. It maintains the peace for now. Um, and it's the, possibly the least suspicious. That is true. 
I definitely agree. And then Bennett holds his hand up to high five again. Yeah, nothing. I'll leave you hanging. <laughs> oh, Scouts will give a high five, though. Bennett is pleased. <laughs> yeah, I... I'll have a quick word with Aura. Okay. I think pos possibly the best thing we can do here. If you keep this place from collapsing in on itself for about a week or so, and then use that time to figure out who's best place to run the place when you go on your uh, very important diplomatic trip. We can leave them in charge for now. I shall heed your advice. Uh, That's excellent voice. It certainly does sound... Uh, interesting. I'm sure our advocate in Granny may have a few uh, potential uh, candidates. Candidates, yes, uh, into uh, who could uh, keep her eyes on the place. Uh, I personally would rather not stay here for the extended period of time, but so long. Is we find a middle ground. I won't leave, and I will make sure that I take the role of the king. But neither shall you. I would rather Scott stay within my line of sight until the situation is solved. And in that meantime... We shall make sure that our patron of Granny knows, or at least is updated to the situation, and may potentially be able to send us a better ruling candidate, maybe even made of parts of the old king. That's grim, but okay. We'll stay in the city for the duration let's try and keep us somewhere comfortable at least you're the king let's live like kings for a bit yes indeed you will be honored guests here living within the the finest rooms eating the finest foods that this place can be pilfered for sounds like a plan to me anyone else objecting no oh, but is there a queen around there was not, as far as I was able to find in my time here. It seems that uh, the king was not particularly fond of the parents of his uh, his sire, his, uh, his descendants. Uh, they were never given full title, but given comfortable lives. I yeah. just remember the king mentioning um, that the kid's mum yeah, they, they are here but they aren't considered royalty in that sense well, the child was his biological child yes oh thank god I thought I'd made a horrible mistake for a moment there So, is there anything else you would like to prepare and plan for before heading back up and explaining your situation to the guards? I need a better outfit. <laughs> oh, come Surely... on, nobody likes the elephant hard. Surely, if we can at least get you past the guards, we can get you to the kids' room and you can put on some of the kids' clothes. I mean, put me in the harness will hide the fact that I'm not wearing the right clothing. And the kid's just getting a ride from Scott's. And he, yeah, make sure you whoop and wheel and make sure you, you, you sell that you're having a lot, a big good time. Wee woo. 
We woo indeed. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick up the disguised Zulk and stick him in the baby Bjorn rope harness. Okay. Uh, is that everything for, for preparations? I need to drop the king disguise and also think of an excuse as to why Bennett is suddenly alive again. Disguise yourself as Zulk. <laughs> yeah, do you need to explain yeah. why Zulk suddenly disappeared? <laughs> uh, Let's do it. Horrible. You've got a very easy way if you don't want to use your disguise kit. And that's I mean, the cast I could just the cave off. Or I could cast Seeming. Good because point. you could have also cast Seeming on the transformed Zulk to give him the clothes of the child as well. It's probably better to cast it on myself that I just. Um, well, look it's, like. it's group oh, uh, disguise self. So messed up. I'm going to have to use it on myself to look like the character that came downstairs. Because then this <laughs> yeah, way, this okay. is the only way that everybody that came down is getting out. And we're missing a rat. I don't think. Uh, that got executed. Fine. Unless Can someone I... has a silent image or minor or some illusions. Oh, hang on. Uh... I think you've got silent image. Uh, Checking. I've got minor illusion. Mm. Not going to be enough. Come on, I, I believe in you to be able to work something out. You have resources if... to access that I know full well that you may be able to use. What if I take a bedroll? Can he cast Minor Illusion on the bedroll? <laughs> uh, Carry it on my shoulder? It wouldn't be a very good disguise. You'd probably be able to make a static version of his tail come out of one end of the bedroll. But the fact that it, the bedroll's jiggling but the tail is static still would probably give it away. Mm. Come on, I believe... I know you've got something. Is it actually on his character sheet? Uh, question. Also, I don't know if it's Zolk that has it. So that's a lot. I don't uh, think it's me somehow. I've read everything. <laughs> I think it's more of a chance of things than anything else. Uh... Can I take a few minutes to paint Zulk? <laughs> on a crate or a barrel. Oh, but he would just be two dimensional, wouldn't he? Yes. Like a little doodle bob. <laughs> my hoi man yoi. Um. While hmm. we're thinking, is there a way to apply the jack of all trades to my character sheet? Yes, there oh, is. That have already been done. Um. Let me go on to your character sheet. It's in the settings. Um, uh, settings. Uh, where Jack of all trades? Uh, oh, it's already ticked on. Yeah, it's already done. Just making sure. Okay. So, what's the plan? <clears throat> well, I'm gonna. I've had to cast seeming on myself to look like. Well, that's the thing. Scots is. Is that seeming is up to as many creatures as you want in that area? Yeah, 
allows you to change the appearance of any number of creatures that you can see within range. Where's Neil? Can we make him look like a rat? <laughs> you can't change the target's body type, so you must choose a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. So unless you want to make Zolk walk on all fours. Yeah, I guess. Could anybody question it? <laughs> You can just be like, I don't know, he just does that sometimes. Also, how much do you think the guys were paying attention to the fact that Zolk was even here? Who knows? You could always, you know, reopen the chests. <laughs> no, uh, no one's got uh, Animate Dead or anything like that. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh... <laughs> if, if anybody asks where the rat goes, I'll open up my shirt and ask them if they really want to find out. Yeah, I thought so. I might <laughs> have it. Let's tell you to a zombie. There you go. Oh my god. Good god. That's grim. Okay. So, uh, I think at this point, uh, we'll say that you've you've come out of the uh, uh, the, the basement, the uh, the storage, uh, and while the guards are a little bit unsure of themselves, they aren't willing to. Uh, disagree with the king um, that's in such a convincing disguise um, and so we'll probably put a pause there with you uh, now not only within uh, the palace of Neolantin um, but with uh, Aura under your somewhat employ uh, to be a proxy king for the time being until such an event that they can either find a replacement shapeshifter to also act as the king or to essentially stage a secession uh, towards somebody else ruling it I'm sure you'll work out how to properly claim your grasp on uh, Neolantin if you want to start your own polis. Because why not? When in Rome. As they say. When in Theros. Behave as That's the okay. Therans do. <laughs> Behave as the, Ther the Therans do. Yep. So. Therans. We will uh, put a pause for, for today there. So. We'll do the end of session stuff. So. Piety points. For those that are able to get them, as no, uh, Bert and Nedrin, you are able to get piety again. Uh, so, did you attend the session? Yes, you get a point. Did you complete your minor divine agenda? Uh, that'll be a point for both Zolk and Bennett. Uh, did you expand your god's influence in the world in a concrete way? Oh, wait, sorry, the... the complete your minor one it would also be for Nadrin as well because it was literally complete your made uh, your ordeal um, did you expand your god's influence that would be a, a yes for Bennett and for Nadrin and for Scott's <laughs> you essentially has put a um, representative gran of Granny in charge of an entire polis. I was going to say, she should be rather happy with that. expanding the your God's influence. <laughs> this is a problem. Did you diminish the hey, influence... you're the one who didn't want Frank Goss. <laughs> there you go. Did you diminish the influence of a rival God uh, in any concrete way? Um... Uh, The bit that's flagging here is the, the conflict between Heliod and Erebus. 
and the whole murdering of an innocent child. The uh, is not impressed so, at all. Uh, I think I'm going to give the point to uh, Bennett on that one. Uh, and no successful divine interventions. Story points it's for everybody. Uh, you get a point of story for playing today. Uh, that's so Greg's fault for not showing up. Uh, so Jim's fault. Uh, did you overcome a great challenge using violent or non-violent means? You overcame a great challenge using non-violent means by throwing a dragon at a kraken to save a city, as well as freeing death to then allow murder again. So you all get a point for that. And then promptly murdering. And then promptly murdered. <laughs> Which is violent means. So you did both. Uh, Print of Paulus count was a great tribulation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you make a significant discovery or unearth some lost history? Absolutely. We finally found out what was under Bennett's cloak. Yes. Uh, as well as finding out about the Nightmare Shepherd being captured, and that's why no one was able to die. Here's the big one. Uh, did you perform an act worthy of a new epithet? Uh, definitely. Uh, Bennett is getting a cursed epithet of child murderer. Uh, as much as I told you that was part of your ordeal to do that, uh, I'm still giving it to you today. Anybody else? <laughs> oh yeah, the painter. The paint engineer. Yeah, that was, that was good one, actually. Engineer, I like that one. Paint engineer. I was like, how do you open yeah, a box was, without any logs? I wish I could just punch a hole in it and make it a log. I was like, oh, that's right. I have the Looney Tunes paint. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else everyone because I feel like uh, both Zolk and Nitro definitely did something uh, Zolk with his transforming and Nitro dealing with the Kraken um, I'm trying to think of the specific way I'd word it I did donuts you and then became donuts. a child. And so you supported killing a child. Not supporting, it's cleaning you, up the mess. Ooh, oh, yeah. I have one. Ooh, uh, guinea pig. Because we all let him just open the chest while we stood <laughs> there back. There you go. Thank, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh god, you do canary it. Canary down a mine shaft. <laughs> canary, that's a better one. Canary. Just tie me up, send me down. It's fine. If you survive, <laughs> it's okay for us to go in. If you don't, uh, we we win anyway. I don't. You just pull up the corpse and then heroic destiny. And yeah, I will give a point to to Natrium for Kraken Speaker. Did talk I'm a so... kraken. You managed to convince a kraken that you were there to feed it. So we didn't get a kraken voice, though. Yeah, I, they they can't speak, which is a shame. But um, yeah, nobody did you yeah, comprehend on them, and forced me to try and work out a kraken voice, which was definitely not going to be the uvu voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the crack going to say? I'm going to use speak with animals and all that lot to try and work it out. I'm like, okay. Is this green dragon for me? I'm, I'm just here because no. I'm hungry. Please, no. <laughs> I I'm mean, just I a do... widow quacken. <laughs> I do have um omen speaker on. I know. Oh, no. I know. But, I, yeah, I... Both the girl and the fact that it, the fact that it can understand languages and stuff like that really sort of threw me off. I forgot that I was supposed to be actually giving it that voice. 
So I think, but at least we pull it in right at the end. And you'll now know when you find the many other Krakens in Theros that when you talk to them, you're going to force me to use that voice. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You're going to, and you're going to hate us for it. Oh no, I, I just, I live off that cringe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why do you think I gave the 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 ants and the goddamn seagulls that voice? Seagulls are great. Uh, okay, so I think that's it for the epithets and no will to the people checks. So, points for Neil. He gets a point of loyalty uh, for showing up. Uh, didn't really fight. Didn't really sacrifice anything. He drooled a lot, which I wouldn't call incredible because he hasn't made anyone fall over from drooling yet. Uh, and while he didn't take any damage... There wasn't really much opportunity to do so, so I'm going to say no for the the good health. He just kind of, he was there, he was happy and drooling. That's about it. Nothing special, but nothing bad. He was, he was, he was having fun. Yes. (laughs) So, with that, you're now level seven, with uh, your roots being spread into the... uh, political structure of neo Lantern, which was definitely a, a turn I expected this campaign to take. Yes, we've taken over a polis. Uh, it used to be one of the four big ones that were essentially the, the, the major powers until it got so big for its boots that the gods had to intervene. And then the, it's now a vassal state of Miletus. So if you try and seed it, it would be essentially a direct de- declaration of war with uh, Miletus. We could literally cause a war at the drop of a hat here. Indeed. <laughs> you absolutely could. We, that can we just also agree? depends on whether or not the military of Neil Anton would follow you or not want to get killed in a, a war for usurpers. Point is, can we all agree not to tell Jim? Because he'll just want blood. Well, it's more the fact that uh, he's been going on about how much he is the prince of our cross and this royal blood, and yet the first people to actually see royalty and control the city is everybody else when he's not here. Yep. (laughs) That makes me laugh. Get wrecked. Poor Jim. Get Poor wrecked, Jim. 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 Jim got dunked on. That's for beating me in magic. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, with that, um, we'll put an end to today's session. So hopefully that was good fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you everyone for playing. Thank you everyone at home for watching. I know we had a bit of technical issues at the start. Uh, but that was also mostly because I was being a dumb and didn't press the start streaming button properly. Uh, you big dum dum. Uh, big dum dum. That's twi- two weeks in a row that I've messed up my blooming uh, stream in some capacity. But hopefully we've got audio this time. Uh, I'll be better for next time. Although, oh, it in this particular pause, uh, and I hope you picked up on the hint, Scott's uh hopefully from next week uh or at least if you need any extra time for it uh we'll be running the marble domain oh boy uh if that's hey, everybody. Kind of the reason why you had we had some forced downtime here <laughs> you guys want to play some muscles and monsters <laughs> play muscles and monsters with scats Really good fun. So yeah, be sure to tune in again next week at uh, seven thirty GMT uh, for whatever happens with these mythic idiots in Theros Chaos. Good. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you do better. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Do. Uh, don't forget to check out uh, Atlas's YouTube channel. It's got all of the 
latest episodes of um, our shenanigans. I will be trying to fix the recording of last week's. We do have the audio that I can rip from Scott's recording. Uh, it's just not the easiest thing to do. So hopefully that will be uploaded Ooh. and this will be uploaded as soon as we finished uh, streaming. Exactly. So thank you all so much for hanging out with us and watching our shenanigans. Take care, have a good one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 Adios. Bye.